Hi, I'm Christina and welcome to Kriska Yoga. Today I will be sharing a 20 minute yoga to open your hips. This is a great yoga sequence to stretch and open the hip area, the front of the hip, the sides of the hip, and all around the pelvic area. So I hope you enjoy this one. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on my free weekly yoga videos. So if you're ready, grab your yoga mat and let's get started. Come to lying flat on your back, bend your legs, hug your knees in towards your chest, holding onto your shins with both of your hands, flex your feet, relax here for a moment, come inward, breathe deeply. From here, take your right ankle, cross it over the left thigh, bring your right knee out to the side. Hold on to your left hamstrings with both of your hands, flexing both of your feet, hugging your legs in, feeling a stretch in the outer hip on the right side. Hold here and breathe. Uncross that ankle and take hold of your right leg in your hand. You can move the leg now forward and backwards, moving it with your hands, just warming up the joint of your hip socket, adding some movement to that area very slowly and gently, just moving the leg with your hands, not with your leg. And once you're ready, come to stillness and then take the pinky toe side of your right foot in your right hand and bring your knee in towards your armpit for half happy baby on the right side. Release your hand from your foot, set the right foot down and switch sides. Take hold of the left leg in your hands and move it forward and backwards with just using your hands, not using your leg. Warming up the hip socket on the left side, very slowly and gently moving. When you're ready, come to stillness and take hold of the pinky toe side of your left foot with your left hand. Bring the bottom of your left foot to facing the ceiling and your left knee in towards your armpit. Hold here for half happy baby on the left. From here, cross the left ankle over the right thigh and hold on to the right hamstrings with your hands. Flexing both feet, hug the legs in towards the chest, feeling a stretch in the outer hip and glute on the left side. Hold and breathe deeply.
Release your hands from your leg, uncross your ankles, and then take hold of the pinky toes sides of both of your feet, bringing both knees in towards the armpits. The bottoms of your feet are facing the ceiling for happy baby. This is full happy baby pose. Breathing deeply through the nose, relax here for a moment. Release your hands from your feet. Bend both of your legs, hugging the knees in towards the chest for a few deep breaths here. And then make your way up to a seated upright position so you can rock back and forth or roll to your right side and gently make your way through hands and knees. We'll come into a low lunge, stepping the right foot forward, bringing the knee above the ankle on the right side. The left knee is behind you on the ground. Hold here in your low lunge, sending the hips down towards the floor, looking down, hold and breathe. From here, coming into lizard stretch, walk the right foot out to the right, bring the hands in the center. You can stay up on your hands or come down onto your forearms, clasp your hands or leave them flat on the floor. Continue to send your hips down towards the ground. The back leg is down on the diagonal. Looking down, keep length in your spine as much as you can, breathing deeply. And from here, we'll take a pigeon pose. If you're able to do pigeon pose, this is a great hip opener. Walking the front leg across the body to the left, bringing the outer thigh on the right side down onto the ground. The back leg is on the floor. The top of the left leg is on the ground behind you. You can come to a forward fold from here, bringing the head to your hands to rest there. You can modify this pose by using a blanket underneath your hips. If you feel like you need some more height in your hips off the ground, Slowly make your way up out of your forward fold and pigeon pose. Tuck your back toe and send the right leg back underneath your body. We'll take that entire sequence on the left. Stepping the left foot forward, coming into low lunge on the left with the right knee down. Looking down, hold here. Lizard stretch, walk the left leg out to the side, bring the hands in the center, come down onto your forearms or stay up on your hands. Press the hips down towards the ground. Feel the left hip socket deepening into flexion, the right hip extending into extension. Hold here. And then from here, bring yourself up onto your hands and we'll take our pigeon pose if possible for you. Cross the left foot across your body to the right and then rest on the outer edge of your left thigh. 
Once you're ready, come into a forward fold, resting your hands, you're resting your head on your hands or stretching your arms out in front of you. Once again, if needed, put a folded blanket or several folded blankets under your hips and remain here. Come up out of your pigeon pose, tuck your right toe, bring the legs underneath the body, and we'll take a bound angle pose. So bring your feet to meet each other at the center line of your body, knees out to the side. Take an inhale, lengthen your spine, exhale, forward fold. If you want a deeper hip stretch, bring the elbows to the knees, press the knees down towards the floor as you fold forward and hold here. Extend your legs out, come up to a seated position and extend your legs out to the side, flexing your feet, point your knees and toes up towards the ceiling. Take an inhale, lengthen the spine, exhale, fold forward. Stretch your arms out in front of you as much as you can. Keep those knees and toes pointed up. Keep length in your spine and hold here. From here, walk your torso over to the left. Keep your arms stretching out, looking down towards the left leg. Hold here in your twist. Bring your left hand to your left leg, reach your right arm up and over, looking up, keep the right hip on the ground, hold here and feel a stretch in the entire right side of your torso. Come up out of your tilt and tilt to the other side, bringing the right hand to the right leg, stretching the left arm up and over, looking up, keep the left hip on the floor, feel a stretch in the left side of your torso and hold here. Turn to face the right leg, bringing your hands to frame the right leg on the ground. Looking down, hold here in your twist. Walk your torso back to the center for a forward fold and bring your legs in towards each other. From here, cross your right leg over the left leg, bending the right leg. You can keep the left leg straight or bend it in as I'm doing here, bringing the heel in towards the right glute. Once you're settled, wrap your left arm around your right leg, bring your right arm behind you, take a deep inhale and lengthen your spine. On your exhale, twist your upper body. 
looking as far behind you as possible, keeping both hips on the ground. Deepen the twist just a bit each time you exhale. Unwind your twist, uncross your legs, and switch sides. Bend the left leg over the right, keep the right leg straight, or if you're able to, bend it in, heel towards the glute. Wrap your right arm around your left leg, left arm behind you. Inhale, lengthen the spine, exhale, twist to the left. Hold here, as we did on the other side, deepen the twist just a bit with each exhale you take. Unwind the twist, uncross your legs, lie down on your back. For a moment, bend both of your legs, hugging them in towards the chest, holding onto the shins. Relax here and breathe deeply. Cross the right leg over the left, holding onto both of your ankles with your hands, keeping the feet flexed. Hug the legs in towards the chest, feeling a stretch in the outer hips and thighs, and hold here. Uncross the legs and switch sides. The left leg over the right. Hold on to your ankles once again, hugging the legs in, feeling a stretch in the outer glutes, the outer hips. Hold here. Slowly uncross your legs and take hold of your left ankle in your right hand. Take hold of your right shin in your left hand. Hug the right knee in towards the chest. Set the outer edge of the left thigh on the floor. Feeling a stretch in the quad and the hip on the left side. Prioritize keeping the low back on the floor and hold here. Slowly release your hands from your ankles and your feet and switch sides. Take hold of the right leg in your left hand and set the outer thigh on the floor. Take hold of your left shin in your right hand and hug the knee in towards the chest. Feeling a stretch on the quad and hip on your right side. Prioritize keeping the low back on the floor so your knee can lift off the ground if needed and hold here. Release your hands from your legs and your feet and then set your legs down. Keep your knees bent. Bring your feet to meet each other and knees out to the side. We'll take a supine bound angle pose. Knees out to the side, feet together. You can rest your hands on your belly or on the ground, wherever is comfortable for you. You can also place two yoga blocks under your knees if this is too intense of an inner thigh and hip stretch for you. We're going to be resting here for a few minutes. So relax, close your eyes, deepen your breathing and hold.
Bring some slow and gentle motion back into your body, moving your hands and your feet, your arms and your legs. Use your hands on your legs to help bring them in towards the center and then roll to the right side of your body, resting there with your arm underneath your head for support. Use your hands to help you come up to a seated cross-legged position. Cross your shins, flex your feet under your knees, sit up tall. And bring your hands to meet at the center of your chest. Bow your head to your fingertips. Namaste. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this class. If you liked it, hit the thumbs up. Leave me a comment letting me know how it went for you. Also, don't forget to subscribe to this channel for free weekly yoga videos for me. Thank you so much again for watching and I will see you next time.